many disease-causing bacteria are becoming nearly impossible to treat. These germs are constantly adapting to outsmart the medicines used to treat them through a process known as antimicrobial resistance, or AMR. AMR kills over 1 million people each year globally. The World Health Organization lists AMR as a top 10 global public health threat. And combating this is going to take a clear understanding of what it is and how to solve it. Our current arsenal of medicines is inadequate to battle increasing rates of AMR. While AMR has been around since we've had antimicrobial treatments, the problem accelerated due to COVID-19. During the pandemic, patients relied on the use of antibiotics to battle secondary infections, giving bacteria the chance to mutate and resist the drugs made to kill them. And this natural process won't slow down unless we take steps to mitigate it. Developing antibiotics isn't quite the same as other medicines. Making just one new antibiotic could take anywhere from 10 to 20 years. And since these new medicines can only be used in limited circumstances, it's hard for manufacturers to justify their R&D costs. As a result of these challenging market dynamics, many antibiotic developers have declared bankruptcy or exited the market in recent years. Having a robust pipeline of medicines to address AMR is a key part of preparedness against future public health threats. As we look to the future, we need policymakers to acknowledge the growing threat of AMR and advance solutions that ensure a sustainable pipeline for new antimicrobials so that routine medical care is not jeopardized by untreatable infections. Patients and our global public health systems are relying on a solution.